Hi, everyone. Welcome to Kiki and Kibbutz. It's Mary, and I'm here with today's edition of 90 Day Oy Bay. Michael is back on IG, everyone. But unfortunately, Angela won't go away. Let's hop right into it. Michael is back on social media without Angela, and I'm so happy I can fucking cry, okay? I mean, look at him. Doesn't he look so fucking happy to be able to be on social media now without Angela, okay? So, like Michael says, page verified, let the show begin. So, Michael got his blue check, guys, okay? So, you know this account actually belongs to him. So please follow him on Instagram. It's Michael, M-Y-K-O-L underscore O-1. And he also has a TikTok at Michael, M-Y-K-O-L underscore 26. And he's also doing cameos. So Michael's back, better than ever, doing his thing. Unfortunately, though, Angela won't go the fuck away, okay? Now, I have to admit, something guys i feel really bad i have been warning my canadian subscribers to close their borders because angela's heading their way on may 10th but guess what she was in my neck of the woods yesterday and i didn't have a chance to close down my neighborhood to make sure that she wouldn't come here okay and if you wonder why she was here jen her botox lady her spa is in my neighborhood Okay, so Angela needed some Botox because as we all can see, her face is melting off. Okay, so she was at Jen's studio yesterday. Let me just share a bit of her in my neighborhood. I was just so like, ugh. She polluted my neighborhood, guys. Who's here? I'm so hey. excited. Don't change it, and instead of baby, if you don't know, now you know, because look, you know, I've been looking back for two months, and y'all, you know, she said, you got a Oh, bitch. If I get a pay for your ticket, get your ass here, because that's perfect. <laughs> we are the children. So now she's getting her Botox with Jen. Don't ask me why Benny is on the, the TikTok live with them, but hey. Jen apparently is the official Botox lady of the 90 Day franchise. Check it out. I don't I do this. Guys, I don't do this for all my patients. No, she's I done it. She's I can't. It's not Good job. Apparently, at one point, Angela was screaming like a pig. Okay. And considering this is not her first round of Botox. Um, there is no need to scream like a pig, okay? Good job. I, I didn't sign uh, everything. I signed my name on the That's what I said. Okay. One more spot, one more spot. I'm not worried about this. I have a little bit left in here, so let me get this, and we're done. Oh, that don't hurt. That's it. I know, because it's th very thin. This yeah. is called Skin V, by the way. She's really it's very excellent. good. And I got better. It took me four years. No, you did great. We're going to give her a little years. ice. We're going to give Angela a little ice. She might have a little swelling. So we have to ruminate. Every time I want you to know who does your face. Can you tell them who does my face? Dr. Lawrence, my surgeon. Jeez, but I am her Botox queen. And so she, and nobody right. touched my face. So I'm right. right. And we all and I also do. Uh, Benny also comes to me for laser, and Ari yep. also comes to me for treatments, as well as Tom and Mariah and, and Ashley. And the list goes on of all the TLC cast. Uh, yeah. Molly, of course. But no, oh, Molly's the daddy. Um, so yes, Jen is the official Botox person for the 90 Day franchise, as you heard her rattle off her list of clients. Now, if you're wondering where you recognize Jen from. She is also the friend that Angela beat the crap out of in the hotel lobby um, in New York City when Angela came to have a karaoke night with Molly and Powell. And well, that night turned sour and uh, she beat the living stuffing out of her friend Jen. And I guess all is forgiven now. Now, I have something to admit, guys, okay? When I heard Angela was at Jen's spa, I came home, I dropped off my groceries, and I went up there 
to see if maybe by chance I could catch Angela, say hi, ask her a couple of questions. I mean, you know, who knows? Maybe I could have had a civilized conversation with her. I can't even keep a straight face saying that. Well, anyway, they were already gone. Damn. There's always next time, though. Now, one more thing about Angela. I really would like her to stop calling out content creators, calling them liars, um, slapping up stories of people that she says that, that are liars and et cetera. Because um, Angela, first of all, if anyone is a liar in this scenario, it's you, okay? So um, yeah, kindly shut the fuck up already. So Daily Soap Dirt, Daily Soap Dirt, is another channel that I watch and I don't even know the guy's name and I'm so sorry, Daily Soap Dirt guy, if you're watching me, I don't even know your name, but I like his channel. He provides reliable and trustworthy content, okay? And I don't appreciate Angela calling him a liar. So Daily Soap Dirt guy, if you're watching this, fuck her. Rob the Knob defends himself against the world, it seems, okay? So he apparently doesn't like how things are playing out, how he's being portrayed. So he decided that he's going to defend himself in a series of IG stories, okay? He put a sticker up. Any other um, any other accusations I need to clarify? And oh boy, did he clarify. So. He doesn't have a second phone. Sophie has three phones, okay? And you could pause to read these guys. Um, basically, he said that it was not his choice not to have sex for an extended period of time. That it was basically Sophie's, okay? Um, the Calum situation really got under his skin because, you know, how would Sophie had felt if he... Flew out an ex-girlfriend 5,000 miles to see him. And, you know, Sophie didn't know the whole situation. People would have jumped down his throat. But Sophie seemed to get grace for this, which I understand where he's coming from because that was bullshit. Okay. Um, also, what I think is bullshit is how Sophie is going back on things that she said regarding her bisexuality. Okay, because she's conflicting herself left and right. Now, Rob also clarifies who was paid for what when they lived together in Mexico. Okay, so you guys could pause and, and read these. But all I have to say is um, Rob the Knob could defend himself left and right. But when it comes to Mama Claire, he's never going to be good enough for her. That's what it comes down to. So... I don't know, guys. They're not together anyway. Uh, this whole storyline, in my eyes, was just fake, okay? The two of them just wanted to be on TV. And I guess Rob doesn't like the way that he was portrayed. And he feels like that he has to clarify stuff. So, hey, do you, Rob the Knob? Do you. Other current Happily Ever After cast, including Thais and her beautiful hair and her adorable baby taking a bath. Lauren was on the Tamron Hall show. Really cool. Here is Coben being a big brother. E, uh, Liz, all I have to say is she is living her best life for her new man, Jason. And she is looking really good. And apparently that's partially due to Jasmine's protein shakes, okay? Jasmine has these um vegan protein shakes and um hey. Miona decides to set the record straight, okay? She has hard launched her new man, okay? They made the grand announcement. If you guys have been watching me for a bit, you know that I called this months ago, even put up pictures of him, but she decided to do her hard launch so everyone could know about her new man. And she decided to clarify the green card question. Okay, check this out. 
Miona setting the record straight. That is another information that people are spreading that is simply not true. Um, I never got green card through anybody else and nobody else ever sponsored me. I sponsored myself. Uh, so that's simply not true. And I don't know why you like to spread narratives about immigrants not being able to do something on their own when we do everything on our own. So there you go. She is setting the record straight about the green card situation. Okay. And, you know, she, she says um, she definitely encourages trying to work things out first in a marriage, try to find a solution, go to therapy, forgive and forget. But also we have, we all have our non-negotiables and it's good to know what, when it's time to leave if one of those non-negotiables are continuously disregarded. She also says that, you know, he's been her rock since day one. And she is willing to have children, okay? She's willing to have kids. And she saw what Jabri was saying about her, saying that he left her. And she's like, no, we, I think we all know that's not the truth. But sometimes people say stuff like that when they are hurt. We broke up a while ago, and I definitely know I made it clear for months before the split that I didn't want to be in that relationship anymore for many reasons. So Miona is setting the record straight. Congratulations to David. He is now a licensed realtor in Arizona. Good for him. And here is um Danny's cousin Amber with her fiance Matt. Some love and paradise stuff. Now, Adriano was um, introduced on this past episode of Love and Paradise, okay? And after looking at his Facebook, I say, hello, Adriano, okay? But after remembering that he's into threesomes, I say, ugh, Adriano. And speaking of ugh, ill, and all the other disgusting noises and faces you can make kyle gordy if you haven't checked out my exclusive interview with one of the recipients please do okay because all i have to say is uh, tlc matt sharp what in the actual fuck a simple google search just saying and speaking of the ogs of love and paradise we have Ariana, who looks fucking fantastic. She has lost so much weight. She looks so good. And we have my girl Amber looking good. Clayton and Amanda Lee update. Okay. Clayton's wearing his wedding ring like a good husband should. And May 2nd is never easy for him. He's, you know, missing his brother in a big way that day. And, um, I just want to say, Clayton, my heart is with you. That's all. Some miscellaneous updates before I wrap this up. We have Misha, okay? Someone of you with the ocean or skyscrapers. Others of you reminding them to pray. And we have Kara back in it as a businesswoman, traveling everywhere, doing the airport thing. David and Sheila saying appreciate the ones you love and how ha, and how hard they work and we have amanda or her new man we have benny hanging out with some family and um the latin hanging out with some family nikki with her new biker chick look and louise i love you chicken looking sexy af okay 90 Day Fiance OG is casting. So if you happen to be in a relationship, try to get your K-1 visa, hit them up. You never know. You could be on TV too. So before I wrap this edition of 90 Day Oy Bay up, I just want to say, you know, a lot of people say, I love your memes. I love your videos. You seem so much fun to hang out with. Actually, in real life, I'm really not. 
Thank you so much for watching me. Please subscribe if you don't already. Hit that like button and share my video with a friend or 10. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time, everyone. Bye.